you guys, this is Tara, and it's been literally forever since I haven't made a video. I think it's been like, what, three months or so? Sorry. <laughs> so to answer some questions that I don't know if they have been asked, but I haven't been active in a very long time, but I am not dead. I'm very much alive, and I'm here to give you a tutorial today. What? I know. It's fucking crazy. So basically today I wanted to teach you something that I have seen a lot of uh, uh, AE editors use and honestly it's not that complicated to do because you just if you know your masking you're gonna know you're gonna know what to do. So basically the transition I'm gonna teach you today is the split screen transition which is where you either split it uh, uh, horizontally and vertically and you just make it either slide to the left or to the right it's or zoom or whatever you decide to do with that it's really not complicated and it's very handy once you know the trick you're not gonna have that much difficulty doing everything else so it's up to it's up to you to do whatever you want we're gonna begin this with how we've begun pretty much every single one video that we've done you're gonna choose your clip and by the way, for those people that want to know how or what transition I'm talking about, I'm talking about this one in this edit in which I have used it. It's I haven't used it that much, but once you know how to do it, you pretty much want to use it all the time. Um, and also, in this edit, I don't know if you can notice, but the transition is much smoother. It looks like it's lasting a bit longer. Um, I tried my best to uh, s kind of steal the after effect look of the transition when it, it lasts lo a long time, but the, transi the transition is quite quick. I figured out how to do this, and this shall be my next tutorial. So you guys stick by, you know. I still have content to post, I swear. Just because I don't post very often doesn't mean that I'm all out of ideas, I swear to you. <laughs> so, it's very easy. You're gonna, once you have your checks with uh, the clips that you want, uh, and let's say you have music or whatever I'm gonna do without music this time, so it's not gonna be too complicated. You could duplicate, either insert video track and then copy and then paste the event, but in this case, I'm just gonna do the simple thing. I know I've already started, but still, I'm just duplicating the track. Alright, so the track on top, you're gonna wanna cut it um, so that it makes half-half. So you're gonna go into the uh, event pan crop, you're gonna click on that. And then you see there's two lines at the bottom, there's precision and then there's mask. So what you're gonna do is that you're basically just gonna work with the masking effect and you're gonna wanna make a square, well, half of the screen or so. Copy that. And that's obviously if you don't zoom in because if you zoom in, then the middle is different. But copy this point and then you're gonna go pan and crop event for the next clip on top. Event for ma oh, masking, you're gonna paste it and then it's gonna be cut the same way just because you paste it doesn't mean it's selected so just click inside the square twice and then it's gonna be fine you know it's masked when like the other places of your screen is like darker all right so now it's cut half half you can't tell because there's nothing happening so you're gonna go into I don't have it right here so I have to press alt 8 but those are basically your uh, effects you're gonna go in my favorite <laughs> effects ever because that's the one I use all the time. You go blur more curves. And to those people that are yet still commenting in my videos how to get the plugin. It is a plugin, guys. It is one. I do not know where to find it. And I'm not looking for it. I'm not looking for a link because even if I try to find a link for you guys, it's not gonna work because it's already on my computer. So I'm not gonna uninstall it and reinstall it. So what basically everyone has done so far to get that plugin is you go on YouTube, you search how to get Blur More Curve, no wait, it's Sapphire. I don't know how you call it, all right? It's the S underscore whatever. It's Sapphire, Sapphire, whatever, I don't know, apparently I'm not pronouncing it right. Or the, you know, like Magic Bullet, or which I don't have, which I wish I had, um, or New Blue, you know, all of that, you're gonna have to look it up. 
how to install it and then you install it how do you know if it's safe you don't know that go look in the comments and if people are like oh thanks if people are saying oh my god you gave me a virus obviously don't download that one but that's all i can tell you i hope it's the last time i have to say that but i don't know where to get it i'm sorry so as for more curves yes I think I gave you the preset in one of my videos previously in s smooth transition all whatever my last video I made my last tutorial which is basically all the tutorials I've ever made in one video if you want to go see that go ahead but I came up with that new technique zoom or transition that looks like after effect ish well it looks mu much smoother than what I've done so far um, as I said in the in the edit that I showed you it looks much more smoother and I'm going to make a tutorial for this as well, but it's up to you. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm blabbering a lot. It's been a while. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to put the event on, uh, well, the uh, effect on every clip that you have. So go right, go right ahead and do that. So we're going to work with the top ones first. Alright, so you're going to click on uh, the event effects. You're going to go, let's say you want it to go... Uh, a horizontal since that's how we separated the the masking basically if you want to have it going up and down just mask it halfway in a vertical so that your your screen is split in two basically and instead of working with shift X you work with shift Y you make it go up and down and that's that's it so it's not that complicated all right so you're gonna go at the end one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's say ten frames in because pretty like that we're gonna click on the right click on the right uh, god damn it just click on it and go slow all right and then the last event uh, which is shift just put it like 500 I don't know if it goes left or right we'll see okay so we're gonna follow that um, logic with how we're gonna do the next one so this is the first event on the top. So we're going to see, let's say frame by frame, the top part is going to go on the right. So for Nathan, we want the top part to go from the left to the, to the right because we made it go to the, basically, whatever. So you go 10 frames in, you push the zero, the normal one, and you click on the clock, obviously. And the first frame, you're going to make it go on the opposite side. So before it was five, 0 0.500, now we're going to make it uh, minus 0 0.500. First frame, you make it fast. And then the 10th frame, which when it's at 0, you make it slow. Alright, so we're going to pre-render this and look, see how it looks like so far. Perfect, that looks, that looks good so far. There you go. And then for the bottom frame, what we're going to do is that we have to make it go the opposite way from the top one. So as we see, for max, it goes 500. So that means that the bottom layer has to go minus 500. All right, so shift X, click on the clock. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Bring the 0 up to here. And then the last frame, you make it go minus 0 0.5. When it's at zero, you put it at slow. When it's minus 0 0.5, you make it at fast. And then the opposite of that would be for the bottom for the bottom uh, of uh, the Nathan clip, 10 frames in, it would be 0 0.5. Awesome. So you basically make it go the opposite from what the top one is. So we're going to pre-render this and look how it looks like. Boom. That's it. And um, I suggest you to make, uh, you, you know, like let's say your colorings or whatever, like if you want to put some colorings on the clip, I suggest you to put it after. So render the edit before it has any sorts of effects on it. Because let's say you want to put coloring on the entire track. And since you cut it in half, the coloring might either have like a black line or it's not gonna it's not gonna be smooth with everything else so let's say we're gonna take one of my favorite pink boy by obsession it has this certain glow to it so if you put it on one of the lines it's gonna overlap with the other but not in a in a very continuous way see what i mean like 
we can see the cut in the middle of Max's face or even with Nathan. Oh, Nathan, good luck, you can't. So let's say um, you can either put the coloring after or let's say at the 10th frame where it begins, just cut, cut your frame so you can only see the screen is divided when the transition is going to start. But then again, we can still see the, the line, so that's not pretty. So there you go, guys. Easiest thing in the world. So as soon as you know how to mask, you basically know how to do everything else. I really like it. It's really handy, and it's really easy. So now that you know, have fun editing, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to record the next tutorial right now because I'm set and I'm ready for it. So, yay. By the way, updates. I'm going to be making other videos other than that. I have a lot of clutter in there. I have a McDonald thing. I have Coke. And I have... That's the blue thing. That's a shit ton of candy my boyfriend gave me. He's like, you have bad habits of eating. I'm going to give you more. Thanks. But yeah, new videos coming up. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it's not going to be about tutorials. So I do hope you guys are going to watch this because you guys to see what I'm doing because it's fun and making videos is fun and I have a lot of free time maybe even a bit too much hi I'm talking a lot a lot of you have been commenting that <laughs> um so I'm gonna stop talking right now because a lot of you are just here to watch the tutorial so I don't matter to you and it's fine because some people think I matter like myself, and that's the most important thing in the world. All right. <laughs> I hope that was helpful, you guys. Have a wonderful day, and have fun editing, because that's what I'm here for.